All right guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my first aid kit. This is the kit that I use for my first aid stuff for my daycare. And I'm gonna be showing you guys what is in here. I did just update my box and I added a few different things or newer things to my box and I decided to do a video on it so you guys can see what exactly I have in here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this video. So this box I did get from Michaels and I like it because it has this right here and then it also has two clamps that you could pull down and it's just really cute and I like it and you can see what's inside as well this is a two-tiered system that has a top section and it also has a bottom section so this tray comes out and you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about in the video you open it with the clamps first and then you take off the cap and then this is what you have on the top of your first aid kit so I'm gonna tell you guys about every single thing that I have up here so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is this ice pack. Now this ice pack I did get from Dollar Tree and I really do like it because you twist it open and you can put ice inside of the bag. And once it's done, you can clean it out and let it dry and reuse it. So you don't have to constantly be buying ice packs or making ice packs with plastic bags or however you guys make it. And I like it. I did get it from Dollar Tree and I believe they had other colors as well. But I went with navy because I like it. And I did just purchase this for my pack. I didn't have this already. I would just have the other ice packs that are like plastic. But when I saw this, I thought that I was going to save a lot more money if I just got one that is reusable and it is a soft material. So when the kids are putting it on their boo-boos, you don't have to worry about it being uncomfortable. Next thing that I have is triple antibiotic and I did also get this from Dollar Tree. This is the same exact thing as Neosporin. If you guys want to look at the ingredients, I'll put this up here so you guys can look at it. But if you look at the ingredients and you look at the units in milligrams, it's the exact same as regular Neosporin and you can get this for a dollar. I have this in here as well. This is for if they get cut, if they scrape their knees, if God forbid they burn themselves on something or if I burn myself on something, I have this inside of my first aid kit. The next thing I have is a thermometer and this is the one that I would recommend. I recommend it because this is one that you can rub across their forehead and get an accurate temperature. It also has a light, so if you guys want to check it out, you guys can. It has a cap that comes with it, and I just really do like it. A lot of kids get intimidated when you got to stick something in their ear. If you got to stick something in their mouth, they can't hold it in. So I recommend getting this because this works for all ages. So the next thing I have in here are gloves, and I have two pairs of gloves, one for me and one for my assistant. If if I ever need them to help me with any situation I got going on, I just have two pairs of gloves in here. And then I also have some band-aids. So the band-aids come in a box that has designs of what's inside on the actual outside of the box, if that makes sense. I just cut that section out and I put it inside of the plastic bags so I don't have anything bulky inside of my first aid kit. So whenever the kid gets a boo-boo, I show them this, I ask them which band-aid they want, and I can go ahead and get the band-aid out for them. So each box has its own bag and I feel like it's way more space efficient than having a big bulky band-aid box inside of here. This is also band-aids. Now these are different sized band-aids and these are like regular band-aids with like no design like the typical brown band-aid. And I like it because this comes with a whole bunch of band-aids with different sizes. So you have like your circle ones right here. You have the long ones over here. You have bigger ones down there. And you also have some gauze. And I got this from Dollar Tree and I think that it's really good because sometimes the kids get a small boo-boo and to waste a huge band-aid on it is like it's not necessary so i also got that from dollar tree so far everything in here has been from dollar tree i got this from dollar tree the pack under it these two items aren't from dollar tree and then these two are so this is also from dollar tree and these are cotton swabs i like to use cotton swabs with my triple antibiotic i can easily put gloves on and then put some on my finger and then rub it on their cup but then my glove is dirty and then everything that i touch is going to get um, the triple antibiotic on it so I squirt some of the triple antibiotic onto a cotton swab and then I go ahead and apply it to their cut and it's just easier cleaner and I don't got to worry about getting my gloves as dirty as they would if I did have to touch the triple antibiotic and this you get from Dollar Tree I just got a smaller pack they sell bigger packs of q-tips but I got the smaller ones because this is for my first aid kit now, I don't administer medication in my daycare at all. I don't give Tylenol, I don't give Motrin, I don't get cough syrup, I don't give anything. For many reasons, I can do a separate video on why I don't administer medication in my daycare. If you guys are interested, let me know, but that's not something I'm going to talk about today. And I just wanted to mention that to you guys because this is kind of a little bit controversial. 
I do have a travel size Tylenol and a Motrin and this is only for crazy emergencies which I've personally never had but I decided to include them in here because I mean you never ever ever know what's to happen so I have some Tylenol and have some Motrin and I have them in here and then I also have a bag of syringes if you guys don't want to buy syringes you can go to a pharmacist at your local drugstore Walgreens or CVS or Walmart or Publix, wherever, and ask them for syringes. I did get the three white ones from CVS. The pharmacist was kind enough to give me some, and then these two syringes did come with the Motrin and the Tylenol. These are new syringes, they aren't used. These two I did just repurchase because I didn't have any in my kit, and I needed to purchase them, so I got them, and those are the syringes that came with those. I also have two alcohol prep pads for the hands good to have and then I do have some hand sanitizer this is good to keep in there for your kids and for yourself after you finish cleaning up boo-boos or whatever the case is you can go ahead and sanitize the hands and this is a smaller size I also have hand sanitizers in my house so whenever this runs low I can just refill this with the ones that I have in my house then the last thing that I have in the top section is a flashlight now I got this flashlight from Dollar Tree. It has a laser pointer as well as a flashlight. Now, um, they, they light up really brightly and I really do like them. They're small. I did have bigger flashlights that are kind of like maybe the size of my hand in here, but we did have a tornado the other day and all of the kids had one, so I forgot to put them in here again. But flashlights always have them in my first aid kit. Then when I remove the top system, this is what I have in the bottom. So I do have some alcohol, and this is obviously to disinfect anything that the kids might have going on. And this one's already down here. I use alcohol for a lot of things, not just first aid. <laughs> but um, this is the alcohol that I have. And I also have some hydrogen peroxide. You, I did get this one from Walgreens. It's alcohol, but you can get some at Dollar Tree. And then some hydrogen peroxide. This one is actually from the Dollar Tree, and it is the spray version which is really cool. It's easier for me to just spray their boo-boos and I don't have to touch anything like cotton rounds or anything like that. So the cotton rounds I do have in here for the alcohol. I'll put some alcohol on the cotton round and then tap their boo-boos to disinfect them. So I have those in here. And then I have lollipops. So these are really good for the kids while you're doing their first aid to keep them entertained or even after they have their boo-boos. This kind of gets their mind off of it. So I have two different kinds. The older kids like the one with the bubble gum. So I have this one and then these are the dum-dums for the smaller kids. And you can also get these at Dollar Tree. I did get a pack of blow pops and a pack of dum-dums at the Dollar Tree. So if you guys want to get those, you guys can check them out. And then I also did get sick masks from Dollar Tree. So these are if the kids have a cough or if they have like a crazy runny nose or anything that I feel is contagious. If mom and dad drop them off and I call them to pick them up and they have to wait and sit around, I like to put these on them so that they don't get anybody else sick. Of course, I do isolate them, which is another topic we can talk about. And I do have their mask as well to keep all of their germs in one section and these i did get from dollar tree and it did come with a few and the last thing in here is a plastic bag for band-aid wrappers the band-aids the cotton swabs that i have my gloves when i'm done with them i just like to keep a plastic bag in here obviously if you are one of the people that administers medication if your child is throwing up you might want to have a bag next to you so i have all of that in the lower section of my first aid kit so that basically completes everything that is in my first aid kit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have everything listed and linked down below in the description box so you guys can check it out. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I did want to mention to you guys that I have been using this first aid kit since I opened up my daycare. And I've never had any accidents that this first aid kit couldn't take care of. So it's obviously nothing too crazy. I don't have any EpiPens because I don't have any kids with EpiPens. But if I did, I would keep it in here. And I just wanted to show you guys what I had in mind and let you guys know that this has worked for me since day one. If you guys have been doing childcare for a long time and you guys feel like I have something that's missing, go ahead and let me know because I can always add to my first aid box. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video.